anything I can do for you? I never want to see you again as long as I live. Amanda. And you keep out of here, too. I was only trying to help. Go put your coat on, honey. This is getting good. Here's our... This was our bedroom. Haven't you bothered me enough, you big banana head? Just try breaking my door, and Mr. Emmerich will throw you out of the house. There's a word for what you are, and it's not deputy head of the Far Eastern Department. I thought I heard voices. I had to talk to somebody. I don't feel like going to sleep. I know what you need, a slug of bourbon. Thanks for the drink. Come on, come on, that governor's waiting. Just a minute. Put it here. Sugar, you're going to get yourself into a lot of trouble. No, no. Don't say another word. I have evening all planned. Dinner at Chambord. Pheasant under glass. Broccoli hollandaise. I'm so glad for you, okay? Hello again, Eddie. Good evening, Miss uh, uh, Forbes. My niece, oh. Nell Forbes. I fixed her. I shot her. Oh, God, From upstairs. Mm -hmm. I hope you ask me out again sometime. And if you want to kiss me good night. Mm -hmm. Good night. Sorry, I was on the phone. Long distance. Excuse me a minute. I think you might be better. Well, you're in town and tight. What is he finished yet? It's, it's weather tight. Come on in. It's insulated. Flush doors. Good night. He's asleep. Well, do I go or stay? I bring this back when it's empty.
dress is going to fit me perfectly. Good. These are the personal letters, Mr. Washburn. Thank you, Iris. Oh, uh, if I'm not back tonight, go ahead without me. Oh, I, I forgot to return your breadstick. I'm awfully sorry. Over here before it melts. Oh, hey, what? Playing with fire? Oh, huh? Oh, good morning, Miss Rita. Good morning. Good night. Thank you very much. That's all right. Have you got to go already? I'm afraid so. You will. Possibly. He hates the falls. Say, you know, I nearly went to sleep sitting here. You suppose you could turn that heat down? Yes, sir. Anybody can type. Oh, hello, Mrs. Scott. I brought you the rent. Thank you. Just a moment. Madam, how do you do? I am the manager. May I help you? I'll be right back in just a minute. Did you see this fellow I'm with? I saw him. What's he look like? Very nice for a one-eyed man. Come on, honey, let's get out of here. Anyway, I hear your plumbing is noisy. <sighs> Got to have air conditioning. Just feel that. Wow, I'm exhausted. This is my barcode Marilyn Monroe portrait made with 1,944 barcodes. I used the UPC barcodes from DVDs of the 22 films in which the actress appeared. Each time a barcode is scanned, the video monitor plays a short clip from corresponding Marilyn Monroe films. Scan a barcode, and Marilyn Monroe opens a door. Scan another barcode, and she closes the door. This looping technique links all of her films, seamlessly shifting from black and white to color. I offset the barcode tiles in the portrait to add a wiggle in the mosaic inspired by the paintings of Gerhard Richter. The visual pattern accents Monroe's curly hair and round cheeks, and is also used to reference her curvy body. There is a video projector behind the print, so when a barcode is scanned, the projector highlights a precise column of barcodes. For more information about my art, including free downloads of this image, this is my barcode Marilyn Monroe flipbook made with 1,944 barcodes from movie DVDs the classic Hollywood actress appeared in. I created the original 5x5 five five foot digital mosaic on a computer using Photoshop. The barcodes can be scanned with a smartphone, and it will show more information about the product. On the flip side, I cataloged a selection of barcodes used for the portrait. I make most of my flipbooks in two sizes. The large versions are printed on 32-pound paper with screw post binding, which is one of the most archival bookbinding methods available, and the smaller editions are bound with heavy-duty staples. 
Both versions contain the same 50-page animation, and they are all signed and dated.